Caldwell and a revamped Tennessee Lady Volunteers. As hoops are almost back. This preseason exhibition is underway. And possession in exhibition action. The travel called underneath on Tori Rutherford. Last year for the Lady Vols. First shot of the game, Jennifer Sullivan off the back iron. Offensive rebound. Numbers, Jewel Spear up ahead. Kicks to Ruby Whitehorn, who knocks down the triple and the first points of the ball. It's Alasia Cooper. Goes to work in the paint, too strong. Rutherford. You in the preseason, and she said that Kanaya Boyd. Jewel Spear knocks down the triple. Rutherford swings it out to Gonzalez. Her three is good. Rattles in for him. Is tied up. There comes Gonzalez with it. And one of those hallmarks of a Kim Caldwell team, that full court pressure. Gonzalez mid-range is good. Spear kicks it out. Off the mark. Samara Spencer. To Whitehorn who spins and finishes. Campbell Penland. Dishes to Gonzalez. Shot clock winding down. Hey, here come the Lady Vols. Carson Newman comes away with it. Gonzalez to the bucket, swatted away. Taylor can't clean it up. Spearman, the Miami transfer. As Talasia Cooper knocks down the jumper. Look on their rotations and their offense, and they're trying to find their brand, like you said, their style right now. Taylor battling underneath. Another opportunity, Sullivan can't convert. And it's Spear with the board. Christine, <laughs> we've already seen multiple subs in the game. And a charge call. Tennessee lead, five early points for Ruby Whitehorn. Carson Newman, 0 for its last eight from the field. Trying to change that here. Whitehorn connects. Entire sequence, all by players new to the program. You're gonna see a lot of three-pointers fall. To be successful. It's a 10-0 run, Whitehorn down and in this season. That's right, and really, you know, this is a fun game for them where they get to come in and play against the, because their bench is so young. Campbell Penlin, ball attack. Spear, open look. Boyd with the board, tied up. <laughs> Cooper, back iron, knocks it out. Moores. Doesn't get the bounce there. Jillian Hollingshed, left hand is good. Gonzalez, now Sullivan. Can't hit. Just short. Holling Shed with the rebound. Darby's turn. It's good. Yeah. Drives baseline and finishes. Ruby Whitehorn through the contact. Third to Hayworth. Long three is good. Maddie Knuckles finally breaks the score in Clemson, making an immediate impact here in this exhibition ball game. Avery Strickland banks it in to begin the. Drive off the mark from Sullivan. Rebound controlled by Tennessee. Up ahead, Z Spearman dishes it. Boyd finishes. Gonzalez. Hayworth trying to create space. Swings it out. Sullivan knocks it down. Jennifer. And that's what you've got to do when the defense is pressuring you like that. You've got to be able to create space and got to be able to move the ball. Sullivan was six, the leading score for Carson Newman. Good dish underneath, and Johnson is the benefactor. Talasia Cooper with size and space, too strong. Long shot, but going ahead and staying aggressive on defense, playing up on defense. Trying to get them to play up on defense instead of playing back on defense, but right there, I mean, that was a... For Campbell Penlin, the senior out of Sevierville. Tennessee counters with another Whitehorn bucket. The ACL injury, a Knoxville native who played 
just up the road of Ferry. Sullivan robbed of one. Down it. And the foul. Penlin ahead to Sullivan. Has a look. Extra pass from the corner. Ladd knocks it down. The sophomore from Harriman. Puck it. Run in the floor. Rattles it home. It is an all-out track meet at the summit right now. Rutherford. Too strong with the front inside. Now Cooper spins and stepped too far. Whistle Finland who loses the handle to Cooper. It's a foot race to the bucket. Talasia Cooper with the easy two. Two in the last eight years. Out of the break, Puckett can't convert. Ball finds its way to Ruby Whitehorn, who has working on Taylor. Back out to Spencer, top of the key. No, Whitehorn underneath, yes. Lady Vols. Rutherford off the iron. Out of the ball game for Whitehorn. Yeah. Puckett. Drains it. Kicks it out. Penland, extra pass. Rutherford off the mark. Talasia Cooper. Uncontested. Emily Gonzalez comes away with a swipe for Carson Newman. Spins in the paint, draws contact. All Tennessee in this preseason exhibition. In a new era of Lady Vault Battle. Spearman knocks down the first. Looks like Knuckles got a hand on it. Rutherford has it picked. Cooper pours it in. Dozen steals. Cooper has three of them. And she's got another bucket. But trying to make her mark in her first season of action on Rocky Top. Sullivan high off the glass. Gets it to go. Working on Sullivan. And draws the foul. All 33 last year for Tennessee. Team that went 20 and 13 and made it to the inside. Spencer draws contact. Gonzalez couldn't get out of the way. The line. Off the mark on the first, 74% free throw shooter at Arkansas last year. It's a one for Swings it out. Gonzalez, head fake. No foul. Open look. Just shy. Johnson battling underneath. They were the number two seed in the Southeast region, their highest seeding going into the postseason since 2018. When they are unable to connect. But the offensive rebound controlled by Tennessee. Ajodele crashing the boards on a nipple. Sloppy mistakes. Kim Caldwell did say this is a team that will start out ugly. Things will get better as the year goes on. Awarded to the first team all sack in her three years in Mossy. After All-American Braylon Weichel graduated, the all-time lead, fortunately. The Eagles come out in a 2-3 zone to start the second half, and Z Rutherford tracks it down. Taylor drives baseline and picks up the bucket. Lindsey Taylor. Jewel Spear counters with the three ball. Spencer, right elbow out to Hollingshed. Spencer with an open look. In the Knoxville area, began her preps career at the Kings Academy, where after two seasons, she was 4A Miss Basketball Award winner. Sarah Puckett knocks down a trip. Penland, guarded by Darby. Got too handsy. Division contest. Behind the back, out in front, Spearman finishes at leaving end and can't knock it in through the contact. Spearman and Defensive menace. Career high is three steals. Stats not official here tonight, but missed it. Cooper with the board. Spearman underneath. Sullivan from the free throw line is good. Cooper creates space and draws the contact. To Cooper inside, Ruby Whitehead. First bucket of the second half. Now 24 in the, in the game. Able to find those open people underneath the basket. Step back three, beauty from. They're one person sub. Yeah, <laughs> instead in, of five. In a Kim Caldwell. I wonder if, you know, this is kind of a set grouping that she has. But who knows, it could change game to game. Darby, open look, nothing but net. Both groups. We've seen Ruby Whitehorn do incredible tonight offensively. We've seen a couple. 
Here is one of those dynamic stars, Talaysia Cooper, gives it to Z Spearman, who finishes through. Well, like very well knit. You can tell that they, they all get along, they respect each other's play. The court, Kanaya Boy, corner three. Knuckles out to Sullivan. Steps back. Too strong. Boyd with the board. Too strong. Spearman can't get it to go, but Cooper is there. Get that rebound trying to get it in. Talasia Cooper gets a hand on that ball. What a bucket. Favor. I Answer on the other end. Abigail Johnson called. Cooper inside to Spearman. He draws the contact. Three for three at the line tonight. Make it four out of four. Whitehorn. Spencer with speed. Here's Puckett. Transition. Triple. Short. Long three is good. Caroline Hill. Spear with the counter. Tennessee. Hill trapped up top. Spearman draws the contact. Found vets that won the battle. I've been there. Been there, done that. Here who drives baseline. Out in the corner, Avery Strickland. Yes! And there is another swipe. Strickland got her hands on it to Boyd underneath, who draws the foul. Team than what we've seen in the past. So these schools, they're, they're not going to be seeing the Tennessee of old. Seven ranked inside the top 25 going into the year. And Tennessee picked 2024-2025 as Spearman knocks them both down. Definitely, but she said we want to be a blue collar culture and we want to play very hard and very fast paced, but also have a lot of fun. And tonight, I think. They want to be the hardest playing team in the country and a program that others. Spencer calling for the screen. Get some space, puck it underneath and finish a strong all points. Spencer on the floor, rolling around. Darby can't knock it down. In the SEC, they're going to be successful. Rutherford can't convert the long two. Spearman crashing the boards hard. Boy, short on the second effort. Ball, Newman just trying to get that personnel to match the style of play. Open look underneath results in a bucket for Lindsay. It's only been the first quarter. Yeah. And that's exactly how this has felt tonight, too. Like, so many different possessions, so many things happening. Rutherford over to Penland. Open look. Gonzalez knocks it down. Quite her high school ball. Sullivan picked up her dribble, able to get it to Rutherford. Looking underneath and finds Lindsay Taylor. The field goal percentage, that was fifth in the country. Tess Darby. Knocks down a three. Working on Puckett. Darby with the help. Out to McMahon. Shy on the baseline. Here is Whitehorn. Top of the key. Drains it. Ruby Whitehorn. 27 tonight. Holling shit. Spin move. Bucket. And the foul. Eight starts last year. Just about five points per game. Picks up her. Want to be here and want to play for Tennessee. And, you know, she even said that there's going to be days where. Jennifer Sullivan drives baseline, reverse lay in. No. May need to come out of the ball game here, calling for a sub. Yeah, she's. I think she, she may have. Spear, step back three is good. Rattles in. Fourth three pointer of the night. For I mean, I'd like to know when the last time Tennessee had this kind of offensive production. <laughs> and Over the last two and a half minutes of gameplay, as Kanaya Boyd will take a trip to the line. Into the front court now. Underneath, Puckett spins and finishes. They put a lot of pressure on their players. They learn from playing against great competition like this, weaknesses, strengths. Make it 28. 13 of the many shots after getting off to such an electric start. Knocks them both down. 29 because of a knee injury. So she enrolled early here in Knoxville. Got here in January. 135 to 49 over Carson Newman in the first.